welcome to another video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today, I wanted to feature, quickly feature, this product. I have been promising to show this to you and share this with you and bring this product to the Catspit ScreenPrintSupply.com e-commerce website and make it available to you all. And I had, you know, I had a little bit of difficulties uh, getting the product and getting everything straightened out and stuff, but I finally have a few sets of these here in Phoenix. So I thought I would show them to you and they will be available at CatspitScreenPrintSupply.com for purchase if you're interested in them, okay? And I featured this on a post on Facebook and recently one of our very good supporters, customers, and good friends, Richard, hello, uh, mentioned that we needed to do this video, so I thought we would do this, okay? So, what this is, what we have here, is a bucket set, obviously, right? Dar, okay? This is a, a bucket and brush set for your chemicals when you're making screens, when you're in the reclaiming, washout, you know, uh, booth, when you're reclaiming, basically making screens, your screen prep, reclaiming, stuff like that, right? Okay, so you know that you have choices. A lot of people use uh, spray bottles, uh, there's dip tanks, and there's this kind of system. I like this a lot. I, this product is from McDermott Autotype. I think, I think actually CPS makes it, but McDermott Autotype, you know, they, this is a product I get from them, okay? And uh, I like it a lot. We have four buckets, okay? And each of these buckets are color-coded to the brushes. And each one will represent a particular chemical in the screen making process, okay? So for instance, I have my blue one is for press wash or uh, ink wash, rather, ink wash I would use in this bucket, okay? The white bucket, I use um, emulsion remover, okay? The uh, red bucket is haze remover, and the yellow bucket I use for mesh prep or degreaser. Okay, so that's, that's my four buckets with the four different chemicals that I use, okay? So, there are four brushes. Obviously. Okay, so we have four brushes color-coded to the buckets, okay? So, this is a option or an option using spray bottles, okay, because we know that action, the squirting action can actually get tiresome, the bottles get old, the squirt bottles sometimes will uh, break the pump, right, and it's important to remember that these bottles when used with chemicals, they're not regular garden spray bottles, these are chemical resistant squirt bottles, otherwise they wouldn't even last as long as they do. So. This can be, you know, this, I've used this a long time, I've, uh, and I don't mind using these. I still use them a little bit. As you can see, I have a few here. When I need to use some of these chemicals, I'll add a little with the squirt, okay? But the brush system is very cool, and I'm going to show you how I have it set up. I'm going to try to. It's kind of a dirty, messy part of the shop, but basically what I have is I have it on a stand, and I have my buckets and my brushes hanging there next off off to this side of the washout booth. So I can actually grab buckets and set them into the washout booth. I can grab the brushes and hang them up on this rack and everything. But you can set it up however you want and you know you don't necessarily need this rack. But let me see if I can show you this. As you can see I have this rack system which is also available through McDermott Autotype and CPS and if you're interested in that you can always ask me about that. But um, this bucket system, I have it, it's very convenient for me, as you can see, they're all lined up and then the brushes hang right over the buckets so they can drip off and drain off into the bucket. And most of the time I keep them all empty when I'm not using them. For some reason there seems to be something in the uh, mesh prep bucket at the end. <laughs> you know, you know how it is. Okay, so uh, I like it. It's very cool. Uh, you can set it up any which way you want, but just note that you will kind of need a place like this near the washout booth. It takes up a little bit of space, you know, so that's the only downside. And, you, you know, you need some kind of setup similar to this. You don't necessarily have to hang the brushes or anything, but it's very cool. 
Okay, so let me just quickly show you how it works. We'll use a blank screen and just pretend we're mesh prepping or whatever because, you know, the application will be the same for pretty much each brush, you know. It's the same type of application for each chemical. You're familiar with the squirt bottle, right? And we squirt the bottle like this and it works pretty good. You can spray it, you can stream it, whatever you like. Uh, but over long work hours, it can be tiresome. But the good thing about the squirt bottle is, 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 is that, you know, it, it helps you conserve chemicals, right? Because you're squirting a little bit. So it's very precise on the amount of chemical that you put on. Now, with the brushes, it's a little bit different. Okay, and I'm just going to use, like I said, I'm just going to use one of these. It doesn't matter. The application is going to be very similar for any of the four brushes and your chemicals, right? So basically, I like to grab, sometimes like if I'm doing all reclaiming at one time, you're working with the, with the white bucket or whatever, your reclaiming bucket, whichever one you want to use, you can use whatever chemical to color you want to use, that's fine. It doesn't have to be the same as mine, okay? But the deal is it'd be something like this. Once again, let's assume that that water is a chemical and not water. Okay? <laughs> All right, movie guy voice. Let's imagine, if you will. All right, now we have a chemical in here, right? Let's pretend this is a chemical. And you have your brush in here. When you're working with it, you can just kind of let it sit in here. I often will set my, you know, I can set it down on either side here if I want. I can set it here. And we get a little bit of the chemical on the brush. Now, let's talk about this a little bit. First of all, the brush is a very nice, soft, bristled brush. It's not going to damage the mesh or prematurely rough it up so far as to give you uh, frayed fibers, which, which, you know, hurts the ink flow characteristics of the mesh, right? So it's a really nice brush. It's very soft. It, it's got some firmness, but it's soft, okay? It's not going to damage the mesh. And it holds a lot of chemical. Okay, so that is the, uh, the part about the brushes that you have to be weary, okay? Especially for some of you guys who, who are budgeted, maybe you're just starting out, you gotta be careful about how much chemicals you use and stuff like that, then this is what you gotta do. Instead of dipping in here like this and going to the, to the stream, which is what we would do, and it's getting milky because I, uh, I sprayed some ink wash on there, but, um, all right, so you see how that works? It carries a lot of, a lot of chemical to the, I guess I should move the bucket for you, to the screen. So this is kind of like what you want to do is kind of like when you're painting. If any of you have done bulk painting, you dip the uh, paintbrush in the bucket, right? And then you either swab it on the side or, or some people shake it off. Okay, so you can shake off a little excess chemical and do it like that okay so that you're not you know and you can scrub I like to make little circular motions hopefully you can hear me over the scrubbing but yeah little circular motions and, you know like this it's really nice brush okay and then you can get a little bit more shake it off a little bit so you're not using too much and that's it. It's, that's basically the system, okay? And then for me, when I'm done with this one, I would set it on my little rack and hang the, hang the brush over it to drip off. But when you're done with these, every time that you're done, you need to rinse the brush out very well. Okay, so you rinse this out really, really good. You wanna keep it nice and clean and in great condition. Okay, but the whole purpose of the color coding, as you can see, is so that, so that this brush always goes with this chemical. You never mix, cross mix your brushes. You never use the haze remover brush for emulsion remover or for mesh prep. It's just a common good practice that we do in the washout booth. Always use one brush dedicated to each chemical. That's why we have this four bucket, four brush, color coded chemical using system, so to speak, okay? All right, so does that make sense? I think that's it, it's pretty simple. Dip in, you're gonna 
shake it out a little bit and apply. Okay, and you do that to both sides. You know, you're, you know how it is. It's the same process as you would normally do with any other pro, any other application method, whether it's dip tanks or squirt bottles. But in this case, the brush that you're using to work is the brush that applies the chemical, and uh, it's very cool. Just remember to shake out, otherwise you can use a lot of chemical really fast. Look at this, watch. Okay, so it, that's what I love. They hold, it. that's what it does. It holds, picks up the chemical. So, all right, really cool stuff. Remember to wash your brushes very well after each use. And it's also recommended that you might empty out the buckets and rinse the buckets out after each use, unless you can figure out a way to cap them so that the chemical isn't going to evaporate. Otherwise, you know, leaving chemicals in the open buckets, you will have a loss of the water in the solution, and, you know, that's not good for the concentration of the chemical and, you know, the workings or performance of the chemical. Okay, so remember that. Also, note that the buckets may vary in, as far as their shape. The colors will be the same, but the buckets could have slight variances from batch to batch that I get. So if you get, if you buy some, you order some and you get them and you know maybe the white bucket is taller, like right now in my sets the white bucket is taller than the others or sometimes the bucket is different configuration a little bit but it's the same, about the same size and you know it's very similar but the buckets can vary a little bit, okay? And that's just the way it is from the manufacturer. All right, so those are the only things to remember. Uh, other than that, you can get this product at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. All right, and you can also check out all of my offerings there. Who loves you, baby? Catspit loves you. Thanks a lot for watching my video today. I really appreciate your time and attention. Remember, if you like what you see, thumbs up, leave a comment if you can, and most importantly, subscribe. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.